Hidden inside this old disposable camera is a circuit board charged with electricity. You can see it sparks off incredibly fast, so let's time bend it. For this experiment, let's carefully remove the casing from our camera and lift out the circuit board, making sure we don't touch anything metallic. You can still get a very surprising shock even if the battery has been removed. Now if we close the circuit where the flash button would have been, the unit charges up to over 330 volts, and that's what powers the flash tube. All this power is stored on the back side of the board in an electrolytic capacitor, but if we bypass the circuitry with something conductive, we can short out the contacts and blast out burning metal sparks in just a fraction of a second. Now let's slow things way down and behold the majesty. The amazing thing about electrolytic capacitors is they can store a powerful electric charge and release it all in a fraction of a second. If you look closely, you can see enough energy shoots out to burn little pockmarks into the metal lead. Well now you've got a superhero view of an electrical discharge up close and personal. If you like this time bender, look for some of my others at thekingofrandom.com. Hey before you go, have you ever wondered what personal information you might have floating around out there? Stop what you're doing, go to the description box, and click the link for the new Watchdogs Digital Shadow website to see who's been looking at your Facebook profile. This new website is a Facebook Connect experience that will let you see yourself through the lens of a hacker in the Watchdogs world to see how you could be targeted. It's meant to be an eye-opening experience that illustrates just how much information we expose in our online interactions and what that can be worth to hackers when aggregated. The experience itself is a simulation, but it is based on your real information and displayed in a manner fitting of the watchdog's world. You can learn a lot about yourself, so go click on the link in the description box and give it a try right now. Special thanks to my friend Darren Dyke for bringing up his camera and helping film this slow motion footage. You can support him back by checking out his videos and subscribing to his channel Beyond Slow Motion. Links for that in the description as well.